Well, three, or I guess welcome. This is going to be the first time introducing the Cheesemongers, my new Skaven Warband. Um, so it's a rank zero starting Warband, uh, is how the league works. I just created them. Um, we're able to spend three veteran skill points, which um, I guess that's this guy. Uh, which I picked. I went with Master Explorer, which I wasn't planning on going with at first, but Clyde, one of the players in the league, explained to me that uh, it actually works with every day, not just when you send out scouts. So as you go to a new day, you have a 20% better chance to find highest quality missions. Well, what does that mean? Um, so for a normal mission, you'll never see exceptional loot or exceptional wordstone, but you could see probably good quality for uh, wordstone and loot. So it gives you a better chance of finding just a normal one with better quality loot. So that's going to help me in the long run. I'll get more wordstone and hopefully more blue and purple equipment. So that seems like a really good skill to have. Uh, so I went with that. So when I play my brutals, they'll hopefully have more exceptional loot in them. And when I play hard, still have better good loot in them. Maybe an exceptional. I don't exactly know how it works, but I should get more loot, in other words. So that seems pretty powerful. Then I went with Librarian um, Basic. I'd like to get uh, enchantments, because blue enchantments will be very helpful as well. Last league, I got Enchantment of Luck which was very helpful. It's a crit resistance skill. I also got piety and devotion. All of those were really helpful to me. So we're going to go with a librarian. Uh, as you'll see, I don't have scholar, but I hope to win some matches. I hope to win some matches. I'm going to be optimistic. And hopefully get a reward and get scholar. So I'll start to maybe chip away at that. I might take scholar. I might actually master librarian. We'll see how we go with that. Um, so let's get back into the war band. Why aren't I too worried about Scholar? Well, I've decided this time around to be a bit more in theme with the war band. It was harder with Witch Hunters because they don't have a lot of very good skills, but Skaven have excellent, excellent war band specific skills. Like every single one I think is pretty useful. Uh, Art of Silent Death, that increases your crit chance. Poison Expert allows you to put poisons on which are part of your active skills these are your passive skills here and swarm again helps you with hit chance and crit chance so art of silent death and swarm combine pretty nicely as you can see and poison expert works with uh, numbing and warp poison I'm actually probably gonna focus more on numbing poison most people go with warp poison which removes red pills uh, but if you remove red pills, your enemy can still walk around the map, go pick up stone, run away from you, create all alones. Um, yeah, so if you use numbing po poison, they'll just stand there. And then they can't use the red pills anyway, right? So that's why I'm leaning towards numbing poisons. Um, and then black hunger. It's like a bread and butter pill for Skaven. It's uh, a lot like my Chaos Warband. They use a blood offering. Blood Offering is even better, though. It doesn't harm you, but this uh, causes 40% more damage for Mastery and Dodge and Parry Bypass at the cost of 30 wounds. So the basic version is kind of crap. It's a lot like Exhaustion. Like, it's costing 30 wounds either way, so you may as well get the full bonus. So it's not the best on Henchmen, obviously. So I'll probably be skipping it with them, but... Yeah, so it gets back to why aren't I too worried about Scholar. Well, these, I believe they only cost 100 for basic and 300 gold for the mastery, which is, you know, very affordable. It's like these, uh, the basic level skills. So I'm not going to worry too much about Scholar until um, later in the league anyway. I found in the last league I didn't train a lot of skills until very late. So another reward we can get is a respec of our veteran skills. So at that point, if I'm not playing as many maps, I won't need uh, Explorer anymore, right? There's only just a few missions left towards the end. So you can drop Explorer and turn that into Scholar and start training everybody. So that's kind of where I'm looking at with that. I don't know if 
everyone's already spent their points if someone from the league is looking or whatever, but that's what I was thinking about. And so I also kind of want, you know, it's easy to make like these high damage, daredevil, black hunger kind of builds. And I'm going to try to stay away from that. Again, this is just for fun. I'm not going to go like all hardcore as, I, as much. I mean, I got second place in the last league, so I was obviously trying. But I'm going to try to have a little more fun with it and be in theme with crit builds and poison builds. So uh, it'll be very interesting to see where we go with this and let me here switch over um, here to show you the build I was thinking of there he is uh, for the assassin adept so he's gonna be kind of a crit build uh, maximizing toughness and agility this no strength is kinda rough <laughs> pretty rough I might take three agility and put it into strength so when I actually hit you I do some damage it's like hitting with a feather duster otherwise um, agility will give me some kind of survivability though I have yet to decide you know a lot of this is going to be predetermined by what kind of loot you get so much so like if I never get purple let's say I'm I want to make uh, fighting claws build but you never get a purple pair well then you don't want to build something around that so I'll determine if he's like a two-handed user or a one-handed user based off of what kind of loot I get. But um, the Skaven have really high agility and weapon skill, which combine that with a shield, they can get really pretty good melee resi resistance kind of builds. So if you put shield expert and stuff, defensive stance, you can make some really defensive builds. So I'm either going to kind of go with those defensive kind of stance builds or just go with dodge stances but I'm not gonna worry too much even about defensive stuff like that I'm gonna try to go more offensive and so here we have mastery vital strike since he can get 15 accuracy really easy with decent weapon skill you can also get a mastery wet armor break which I might consider as another skill otherwise here we can see the skaven skills art of silent death 10% crit chance uh, when use, I'll have to put a dagger. So what I'll do, I probably probably won't use fighting claws. I'll hopefully maybe use a dagger, or a dagger with a sword. I think would be best. So you still get this um, passive if you put a dagger in the left hand, let's say, and then a sword, which swords have natural crit chance. So ideally, I'd get like two purple, you know, like a purple sword and a purple dagger. Take this skill and increase my crit chance. I think a purple sword is. Plus six percent or plus eight percent? It might be plus eight percent crit chance. So that'd be plus eighteen percent crit chance if I put a, a sword and dagger in his hands. So that's pretty good. If he engages someone else in combat, I get increased crit chance with swarm and a hit chance. So kind of like a baby insult. Uh, so what's that? That'd be twenty-eight percent, right there. Fatality. If your first, after your first melee attack, if it did not create a critical hit. You'll have a 10% chance on the next attack. So now we're looking at 38% crit chance on your second attack. Plus if you do a mastery critical strike, that's 58%. <laughs> that's like basically plus 60% crit chance. And he already has, a, what here it says 20% critical hit chance. So we're talking about like really high critical hit chance. <laughs> So uh, that's the Assassin of Death. I'm going to try to make this crazy high crit build. So plan accordingly, guys. <laughs> we can't use consumables, so it's going to help a lot with the Skaven. And I'm glad we're not using consumables because we're doing exhibitions, so you'd have an endless supply of consumables otherwise. It'd kind of break the league. So if someone could drink elven wine or take antidotes or antitoxins and break all my builds and I wouldn't be able to break make these. So I'm trying to make some fun different builds so that's what we'll be doing with the Assassin Adept. This is not written in stone but this is kind of gives you a blueprint for what I'm looking at here. And I haven't used any tomes or books. This should all be accomplishable in this league. He should hit level 10. And then so second is going to be my Night Runner or what I call the Night Stunner. Um, he's going to be a ranged build, and he's going to try to use poisons. So he has numbing poison, which will take away four strategy points when it lands. And then I'd like to do a pinning shot when I throw that 
shuriken. So then if I get the numbing poison applied, land a pinning shot, you've just lost seven blue pills. <laughs> and uh, coincidentally, that's what a hero has, is seven blue pills. So unless you have exhaustion or you're a leader, a leader gets eight, then you're, you're stuck on the spot. So a lot of people take exhaustion, but then they'll have to use 30, cause 30 harm just to move three more red pills, or three more blue pills is usually about 24. A lot of people have eight, 8 meters movement. 6 would only give you, what, 18 meters movement? So you're not moving far at all in the best case scenario. In order to get that to land, we're going to take Mastery Poison Expert, which bypasses poison resistance. Um, I don't think people are going to get the runes and marks. There's some that increase your poison resistance and those are going to be really hard to find, I believe. And if you want to just tailor your warband specifically to me, I, you know, all right, cool. So most players, just from taking toughness, will have a natural... I think it's... Well, let's look in game real quick. I think it's 3% per toughness. Yeah, poison resistance plus 3% per toughness. A lot of people... The most people will have is probably 15, so that's 45%. Plus, I think you start with 10 yeah, so you start with 10 base, I have 2 toughness, so I have 16. So 55% is about what we're looking at. So um, getting through 40% of that with Poison Expert is going to leave me really good odds to hit the toughest units with uh, these uh, numbing poisons. And if not, I can take Poison Wind Globadiers or Sorcerers. They can also do things that decrease your poison resistance. So... Poison should be effective in this league, I guess is what I'm getting at. Um, he's going to take Knowledge Mordheim and Crick Leload to try to maximize his blue pills. This is expensive, you know. Uh, since we don't get books or tomes, if you have those, you could give this guy 12 toughness for Master Exhaustion. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do that. It really, really hurts the build because I've already lost three for Numbing Poison. Only leave me four, four blue pills for reloads and running away. So this guy's going to be really prone to just getting <laughs> stuck out and beat down. So we'll have to protect them really well with our warp guards. Uh, pick our targets wisely. Maybe not reload all the way. Um, I should be able to get three shots off. Let's see. Maybe with just one blue pill reload. With mastery reload. So he should have some pills to work with. I you know, I can see I have some skills left over. Um, four skill points. I could still give this guy uh, just basic exhaustion and some other stuff. I might give him nerve shot. I don't know. But that's how we're looking at the Night Runner. Um, I don't have much else to add because, um, I mean, these are henchmen. I'll build them as things come along. For now, they're just going to use halberds, uh, which I guess I'll talk a little bit about. When you're a rank zero warband, you want to use two-handers or a dual wheel to get the most out of your red pills early on. So for now, you take what the market gives you. <laughs> I got a halberd. I think I got two halberds. And then this guy got uh, a spear and a dagger, or a mace and a dagger, I think, yeah. And we'll just kind of build them as tanky units, probably. They're going to have to be the backbone of the army. One of these guys will probably become Lad's Got Talent, as Karn broke down in his video, if you guys haven't seen that. But it's going to behoove me to make one of these guys a Lad's Got Talent hero. So we're just going to leave us with two slots to figure out what to take. Um, Black Skaven's an obvious choice, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, two Warp Guards leveled up to Lad's Got Talent would be really strong. These are really excellent, really excellent uh, henchmen. Some of the best in the game. Uh, they start with eight movement. Like, that's so super awesome. So they're high mobility, high tank units. That's really nice in this format. Um, armor is really important in this league. As we saw in BBL2, it really uh, does a lot to protect you. Since there's no perforation runes, it's really hard to get purple weapons. So... I could take the easy road and make two of these guys, Lad's Got Talent and Hero, put a Black Skaven in there, you know, and then try to win the league. Instead, I, I think I might get a Sorcerer. 
I might even do Sorcerer, Poison Wind, Globadier. I mean, Alad's got Talent Guy. Warp Guard. I was even thinking maybe a Doom Weaver. I don't think anyone's going to take a Doom Weaver. And uh, the Idol of Change would be really nice for stripping off Armor of Righteousness. Uh, magic Resistance against Comets that are going to be spammed in by Sisters. You can also remove Call of Van Hell and whatnot from Undead. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm forgetting some things, but you know, it's uh, it would it would work with the Sorcerer too if I took Ashen Sorcerer to reduce um, cast for him. So I don't know. We'll decide. I think I might go Doom Weaver Ashen Sorcerer just. Because why not? We're trying to have some fun here, show off some new builds. So. But we'll see. We'll see where we go. We have a while before we decide. So uh, that's going to be the Cheesemongers. There's Swiss Stabber. <laughs> Rock, Rock for Ripper. I'm not French. I think you don't make the T. Uh, Cheddar Claw. I might make him Cheddar Chopper. Sounds a little better, right? Get the double CHs. There's the Cheddar Chopper. Uh, mozzarella Manslayer. <laughs> and the Havarti Hacker. I'm trying to get uh, cheeses from nations across the player base. I think Havarti's Danish. Mozzarella. I don't think we have any Italians. That's uh, English. That's French. I think Quist is French. And Swiss. I don't know if there's any Swiss, but... I don't know. It's my favorite cheese. I don't really like cheese. It's like the only cheese I'll eat. And mozzarella on a pizza. Um, so if you got any good cheeses, obviously I'm doing the alliterative thing too. I <laughs> I wanted to make them somewhat Skaven, so I gave them second names for kind of Skaven names. Ripper, Chopper, Manslayer, Hacker. I don't know. We'll see. If people like it. Cool. Not. Sorry. <laughs> um, no, we're not skirmishing. We're going on this thing. Let's see what we got here. Um, I prefer to do Wordstone Rush, and that looks like a pretty crap one. So, well, average average is nice, but yeah, Hunters and Prey, Crush the Will is pretty awful. Oh, we might be skipping days here, people, which I really would not want to do. But I don't want to spend all this gold either. All right. Let's go to the next day. Oh, okay, I can't. Well, all right. So we just kind of got screwed over here a bit. But I mean, it's really hard to get the secondaries. I mean, it's impossible at r Warband Rank Zero to do these. So it's basically these three don't exist. So we got an average, very poor. Mark, Mark can be really hard to do. It's basically going to be both their leaders. Very poor average. Average, very poor. So they're all very poor average of some combination. So we may as well do this. And uh, let's get out there. We definitely want to deploy. Everyone's ready? I think everyone's ready. Let's hope so. A spy has reported that an enemy warband is hurrying to recover a secret cache of equipment in the area. With this information, you and deploy patrols to watch for the enemy's arrival. Yeah, I like smoke Gouda. That's a good one. We'll have to get the Dutch Gouda. Gouda Gut Ripper. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> I need pull through with me um you always had said what were yours are like um fairy tale names i think for your sisters so there's one two three four five uh they're gonna be right there i believe so maybe they'll be nice and bring me two pieces this might be a little hard to get uh i put some on the back here so that's four we have to run some this way. Uh, this is going to be a little annoying. I really don't want to split a guy out by himself. You don't want to play down a man. But I might have to get some dude to run over here. Kind of annoying. And we're playing Skaven. Is it normally you play 
your exact same warband? Because this is what happened to Ragnarokus. This is going to be a really annoying fight. It's going to be really hard to get this secondary, to be quite honest. Because I need 55, of course. I couldn't have been 45. Oh, that's four. And then this southern team can get four. That's going to be really risky. That's what we're going to have to do, so great. Really tough start here. Uh, bad maps, bad deployments. So we're going to literally spread our team in half, which you don't want to do. But I need to get the secondary. Um, I feel like he's... What is this, my assassin? He doesn't need as much help, I don't think. Yeah. So he's going to go north with Mr. Crappy Night Runner. Yeah, it's going to be tough, man. I like, uh, I, I was thinking of doing feta too. That's a pretty universal cheese, feta. Um, there's this cheese called American cheese. It's literally called American, which is basically just like shitty cheddar cheese. <laughs> I think it's made with like oil instead of some kind of weird products. American ingenuity and chemistry. Okay, this is kind of a little clot. Cramped in here too, huh? Um, boy, this just sucks. That's all I can say is this sucks. They're going to send like their whole war band in one direction. Like they could probably reach this guy already. Ugh. Oh. This sucks. So let's not let them encircle him. Let's let them move a little bit from the cart. Like this guy's got to run over here. He's got to run there. We got to go in the house. It looks like. Ugh. Which there's probably maybe there's a door here. Like they already have four stones, so they've grabbed these two probably, and these two. <laughs> Uh, well, we can't, we can't all have Karin's luck, can we? Maybe he just saves scums. It's a joke. It's a joke. I, s I hope he doesn't. <laughs> I do like how the rats run, man. It's really cool. Like, we I can fly. I've been used to doing PV where you cannot like backtrack so I have to c remember I can actually backtrack and scout yeah, you can see this jerk's already so most people you can see if he's debuffed if this was the one that picked up the stone but it's a warp guard so he's immune to debuffs from stone so I don't know I assume it was him objectives updated And he takes takes some damage. Is that up top? Yeah, of course it's up top. So you can waste more blue pills getting to it. Whatever. Get in there. I feel a bit exposed. But whatever. I wonder if he can reach me. He'll just like tie me down if he can. Oh god. Someone already reached me. <laughs> so annoying. I hope we don't have the same speed. Okay, I can at least 
Hopefully not triggers ambush. Were they scattered? They were scattered, weren't they? I thought that guy already went, but clearly he hasn't. Alright, well, I, I mean, I can't bother. I have to support this guy now. Good God. What a horrible deployment. It had to be Skaven, didn't it? It couldn't be like some crippled four movement zombie undeads. Appears they're not going north, so we're going to have to be aggressive with our north team. There's their assassin. Well, if I'm really lucky, I'll get an early out of action and everyone can have a good a laugh. A new round has started. It's going to give us three. That's going to be four. Supposedly they already have four. Has this guy picked him up? Yeah. So this guy's going to bring me some. I think he's bringing me the two from down there. So that's four. That plus five, six. We have to get in here and get these two. This guy's going to hit me hard and then we're going to kill him. So they won't have much morale left. Objectives updated. Just gonna have to stall with my guy, um, my leader, hopefully, up on Objectives that platform. Updated. Uh, they're only henchmen, so they can only attack once. So, we might be able to stall long enough. I should be able to catch this guy really easily with this ambush. You should just kind of run right past the cart here, right into my ambush. They are just gonna run all over me over here. We're just going to surround this guy immediately. He's toast. Dismiss our first attack. He'll probably land his. It's more time after all. There we go, Snick. No. He's going to have to pass an all alone. So I think the way the AI works is they cannot stand an all alone. So they might send a unit this way if I can get him in the all alone. I'm not going to bother. There's probably just some crap loot in that chest. I might Objectives be able to kite updated. pretty well. Let's see how far we can get away from these guys. Oh, please be more movement. <laughs> oh, daddy. Yeah, they're not going to be able to reach me now. What is this awkward... <laughs> like, I've never seen this. What is this? It's just effing with me. No, waste more blue pills. Please. Alright, we can do something cute and, like, pop a pill here. To give me the circle to get around here. To give me more room over here. So, I mean, not ideal, but... So he might get onto him now. They're probably going to pour right through this gate. I mean, they're just running straight south. Once we kill him, we'll have two more. So they give us six. I got to send one of these into the house. And that'll be it. Please don't be able to reach my warp guard. I'd love to just kite you guys. He's going to reach him. I think they can reach him. Maybe they get caught up on a wall or something. Uh, this is the trouble one. Oh, I just saw him. The other guy. He's right there. Yeah. Wow, he reached my guy. Jeez. 
Yeah, see, I'm gonna have to kill these guys immediately. That's the problem with these low levels, is you, you kill two of them, it's like game over. At least this leader's far away. I can handle henchmen. Where was he? Probably in ambush, yeah. He spent two red pills, so we gotta make sure when we come here we go south and then into him. Alright, boys. So it is you already. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Little risky. I'm not sure I can get by without triggering the ambush. He can disengage and like run away some more. Ugh, this is just annoying. Let's make sure we can disengage if we have to. And charging, it costs you 10 less percent hit chance, but it does more damage. Um, do I want to? He gets two attacks also. That looks like overkill, so I want to go with the better hit chance. So if he lands both his, should be a dead rat. He has a spear, doesn't he? This might be... Well, he might have to run for the word stone. Let's get out of here. That's probably a max hit, 24. I, I would have preferred you not run immediately backwards. Maybe run this way, but... Can you do? So maybe let's position him here. Maybe he'll run, run better this way. Slice to the face. Yeah, there we go, just like we had Objectives hoped. Updated. And the warp guard's getting him so he won't get cursed. He's only got one slot left. There's two here. Okay. A new round has started. Um is he full? No, he can get one also. He took a hit to the head though. So he's probably going to have to be like indoor house man. That night runner, I mean, it's so annoying to have to play Skaven already. Aren't we annoying little bastards? It's really annoying to take trap debuffs too. Put him in the corner in case that guy gets up to us. It's so hard to judge Skaven movement. It can be so fast. They can move so far. And he's all right here. I think we've decided we're going to flee. Please don't get stunned. Look at that movement. It's just nuts. Now, can they get onto him is going to be the issue. If they can, we'll have to take their flag. Oh, they got the, those are the two stones. Okay, so he took the two right by the card. You little bastard. Hopefully he comes north. Uh, we can take the flag and kill him, and then they'll rout. Or just maybe killing him will make him rout. Don't lose a blue Objective pill. Just please updated. don't lose a blue pill. That's all I ask. Gain a blue pill would be excellent. Sneak him behind the wall here. I don't want to ambush because then I'll run off. Okay, let's see what happens, guys. If push comes to shove, we can just grab their flag actually with one of these guys. I would love to get in the house and get the last 
shard though, obviously. I think we're looking okay. They were wagging to were they? I thought they were. Yeah, I haven't checked their yeah. I didn't check their morale, but yeah. There are only eight left, so if I kill really anybody it's probably over. Okay, we're looking really good now. I don't know where they're going. If they're running back to their cart. Oh, shit, there's one. That trap may have just saved me. Okay, remember, this is the AI, so I'm going to be boring. Boring bastard. I don't have a timer ticking down. I'm so used to that in PvP. Okay, this guy's housed himself, so he's probably... <laughs> doesn't know where to go from here on out. Okay, there is one. Okay. Calabaz. Alright. And then we got our friend here. So we're just going to keep skittering away because that's what rats do. Where did Mr. Nightrunner go? I'm not too worried about the Nightrunner. Well, is there any loot over here? No, of course not. It was an awful, awful loot map. Just push north. Just run away from this guy. Run away! I am so brave. Brave Sir Wobbin. Alright, this guy can probably get my last piece. And let's trigger the blue pill here so we get more movement up top. And blue and pink. Okay, obviously it's not there. I always hate these awkward pills for resetting. I have to reset now, otherwise you kind of get stuck around a corner. They're probably both downstairs, huh? Oh, ooh, ooh. Mission accomplished. Objective. All completed. the fragments are mine. I love fragments, guys. It's really gonna help. Okay, this guy's naked. Sometimes you can f find some really good shit on the cart early. I feel like they put good stuff in there as like a reward. And I can't make it. Probably can though. We're going to ambush. She has full health. A new round has started. Uh, I think I'm full, right? But okay, no. Let's see what we can find. You never know. I think it's all white trash. You're gonna find like eight gold. Decided that was downstairs. We don't need that. I've used all five of my markers. Uh, downstairs. Clearly, whoever owned this home decided everything should be kept kept on the first floor, and all their safes should be down here. Oh, yay. That's just what I needed. I was like, if I could just get a crimson shade, I'd be good to go. Trash white gear, that's really good, too. I mean, what do you expect, right? Light blue, you're right here. Uh, weaving blades are nice, but I don't know. The blue thing probably sells best out of all, all of that. Why do we just grab that? That might be worth more than anything. 
I don't know if we can make it. F if, like, if I drop the blue thing in here, will I be able to make it to there? To get the last... Hopefully, the idea is it's hopefully a shard. That's the theory. I can't make it anyway, so let's just pick it back up. Okay. You're looking cute. Just stand right there. Okay, please no Night Runner. Let's um, kind of come this way in case he's like right on the wall here. Because we could check. Yeah. I don't know where he is. Oh, is that him? There's old Jiznat. Old Jizzy baby. Do we get greedy and go for the kills, guys? Oh, wow. That's really awesome. Okay. I think this guy's an ambush, so if I stand here, I should be a safe leader. Which is why I put him in ambush. So I'm going to be greedy and I'm going to try to get a kill here. Every XP matters. Oh, he has ranged weapons. Oh, cool story, bro. You're about to get surrounded. He's going to have to spend red pills to switch weapons, so that's good for us. We can engage him. Uh, I should not die from one hit, I guess is what I'm saying. What are his other weapons? A dagger and shield. That's even better, because it's a really weak weapon. It's just where is where have these guys gone? They're probably all stuck in the south. They don't know what they're doing. I feel like I have a shadow. It's chasing me. Leave me alone. I'm sorry for the Danish out there. I know you're not... You're much braver people. I mean, you were Vikings. But for now, we're just going to run away. I mean, I, l I like the better odds. I know it's more damage, but... See, I would have missed. I rolled a 72, so... I'm a genius, guys. Alright, Cheddar Chopper. All the fragments belong to you. I don't think he can swap. Okay, I'll just sleep easier knowing it's another shitty fragment. So. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Can this guy reach there? A new round has started. Is there a door? I feel like there is a door now. No door. Is there a door here? No door. Oh door. What a great show. It's gonna take years for them to finish it, I understand. Wow, flippy dippy. What a cool dude, man. Let's try to kill Jiznat. My leader gets the kill, I'm fine with that. Let's just uh, guarantee... Well, I can't drop anything. I'm exactly at 8, I think. I'm going to say, let's take the idol in case we have two crazy misses. But we didn't. So, GG, rats. I was worried for no reason, I guess. Let's see what we got for our secondary loot. I've heard people have been getting blues already. I'm sure it's going to be a potion. Oh, a crossbow pistol. And a sigmarite hammer. Wow, thanks guys. Maybe Karin will trade that. I'm really excited about those blue crossbow pistols, guys. It's just fucking top notch. <laughs> yes!
Yes! All right, well, that Brilliant, was it. clever filch. Leads Warband to victory. Kill, crush all enemy. <laughs> Steel snatch my... Oh, God, his voice is grating. All right, looking good for Swiss Stabber. Rockfort, they both got seven. He was the MVP. Yes, he has fighting claws, but he will be ranged. One day. And then the boy's there. I mean, I got a blue, right? But it's crossbow pistols. Like, I would love that. Like, it's like rubbing it in my face. I played the Witch Hunters last time. <laughs> what I would have done for stage one blue crossbow pistols, right? Jeez. That's crazy. Blunder, but like, look at all this crap I can't use. Like, it's just really lovely. Maybe I should have kept that Greta Spoon for when I... I don't know when I will fight the undead, though. Let's just sell them. Uh, I just want to keep these for a while. I'm going to take a picture for, for Karin. Because he thought he was all happy with his blue crossbow. Um, I'm going to take a break here because I'm going to upload it to uh, YouTube. And then... Uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to play, by the way, rant shortly or do some other stuff here. So for now, I'm just going to stop the recording. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and then I will be back in a little bit today. See you then.